we have the Marvo Scorpion HG9015G 7.1 surround gaming headset. This has got a 50mm driver, apparently it's got a comfortable fit and an adjustable mic. You can see part of it on the box there, so it looks like it's quite a, a beefy cup on there, so that should be quite interesting. The retail value for this, or should I say the suggested retail value, is £26.99, so that's not a bad price to be honest. Um, it looks like it's uh, got everything but the catches will actually perform as it should. Um, it says it's got rainbow backlight. Does that mean RGB or not, or does it mean it's like this, it's multicolours at once, or can you change it? Who knows, but we'll find out in a few minutes. On this side it tells you about the 7.1 surround sound, the 50mm driver size, volume control, self-adjustable headband, and flexible mic boom arm. On the back you've got all your information you should need on there. So it tells you you've got a rainbow backlight with breathing effect. So basically it looks like it's going to be this sort of a multicoloured effect and it's going to breathe in and out. Uh, it doesn't mention if you can adjust that or not. You've got on-ear volume control, so that's not in line. So that means you can't adjust it uh, through the cable itself. You have to reach to the, the headset. Self-adjustable headband and it's USB powered LED light. Okay, so inside the box, all you have, you have the actual headset itself, which is here. And you also have the manual. In the manual, it tells you how to basically install it and set it up. I'm guessing with it being USB, it's mostly plug and play. But if you wanted to install their software, you can do. You just go to marvo-tech.com and you can download it from there. Okay, so here we've got the headset. First of all, the cable, which is USB, it is braided. It looks like the cable itself is red with a black braiding over the top, which gives it a nice sort of black and red effect. So that's nice. Um, on initial looks, the microphone connector actually lights up. I'm not sure if that'll be distracting. If you've got it on, you'll see it out the corner of your eye or not. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. And then the cups itself, they all light up. So. You can see it sort of pulsing, or flashing more than pulsing, I would say. But it's actually turning around the colour is. So one minute this bit's purple, then it moves there, then it moves there. So it's sort of like a free stage effect. And the same on the other side as well. So I'm not sure I class that as pulsing, or it's more of a rotating effect, personally. Um, you've got the metal headband, which is good. And then you've got the soft cushion there, which is fully adjustable. Um, so you should be fine on that, it should fit uh, anyone with ease. So even the people who have got the biggest of heads, that should fit with no problem. Uh, the microphone has got sort of a, a carbon fibre texture to it, um, but it's actually um, plastic or at least coated in plastic. I'm guessing the actual, the actual boom is actually sort of a metal metallic with a plastic coating over the top. Everything feels very sturdy, the cushions seem very good and they seem very soft. Um, that's quite nice to be honest with you and initial inspections I don't see any problems with this but obviously the main telling with any headset is how good the mic and the earphones are but let's have a look at the software first okay the software was easy to download and install it was basically go to their website download it it's about 50 meg uh, then you unzip it and then you run the setup file and it installs and then basically it tells you to plug the headset in and away you go so there was no issues with this um, so it went straight through you've got different options on there for equalizer on and off You've got 3D on and off, you can make different profiles on there, so you can change your volume levels um, for your different hertz levels and everything like that. You've got effects, so you can have different effects on, so make it sound like you're in a living room, bathroom and so forth, what a lot of um, headsets tend to do these days. You've got your mic, so you've got your gain level on there, as well as mute, and you can see as I tap the mic it is actually showing the levels there. Also if I increase the gain. Then you've got the virtual 7.1 so it'll make it sound like the sounds coming from different areas. 
I'm currently using the microphone built into the headset on the HG9015G to give you a rough idea what it sounds like. Now I'm using my studio mic so it should give you a rough idea of the difference between the two. It actually does sound pretty good considering it's a little bit statically higher up in the volumes but no, otherwise not too bad at all. The 50mm drivers in the ear cups actually made a huge difference over ones what I've tested in the past with 40mm ones. Made a huge difference to the noise, the sound quality was good, the bass was good, you didn't have to really mess around or anything to make it sound really good. The explosions had the right amount of bass and then quieter things didn't have that extra bass like it does on some headsets. The only real negative is you can't actually adjust the colour of the LED lights or even turn them off. I would have liked that as an option. But otherwise the build quality, the comfort, usability, the sound quality, including the mic and the earphones, extremely good considering the price of this item, which is only $26.99.